So I'm here at False Klamath Cove in California and I'm photographing a little sea urchin down here that's just nestled in the rocks. One of the things I just want to uh, point out is that when you're photographing a subject like this, you can use a macro lens to capture just a portion of the subject instead of framing the entire scene. There's so much stuff around. There are all these little barnacles on the rocks and more, more uh, sea urchins. There's glare off the water. Uh, there's sand and little snails. And as beautiful as the area is, what I want to show about the scene is just a tiny part of it. What's beautiful here to me are the purple tips of these sea urchins tentacles. And so I'm trying to show that with my camera. I don't need anything else in the scene. I'm trying to get rid of as many distractions as I can. So to that end, I've, I've set up my camera very close to my subject, which is really just maybe 12 inches away from the front of my camera. Um, it's really just about at the edge of the, uh, the focus distance that I can achieve with this camera, the minimum focusing distance. I have a circular polarizer that's going to cut through the glare that's coming off the surface of the water. And I've uh, piled up a little bit of sand over here because there was a, a trickle of water coming down. It was making the tentacles on my anemone move just a little bit in the water and that was causing blur. And because he's in the shadow here, I don't have a ton of light to work with. So all these little things are, are ways of getting rid of, of distractions. The blur, the motion blur that I'm gonna get in my camera, that's a distraction to me. I don't want it included in my photo, I want it gone. Uh, focusing really close, getting in as close as I can to eliminate everything else except uh, a tiny composition that includes nothing more than those tentacles, another way to eliminate distractions. I'm using an aperture uh, somewhere between uh, f8 and f16. I need that uh, narrower aperture to give me a little more depth of field because I'm working so close to such a small subject with a macro lens. Um, but that aperture only gives me a few millimeters of depth. So focus is very important here. Get in close. Don't be afraid to photograph only a small part of your subject. Sometimes that works better than getting the whole scene.